he's learned his lesson. I hope so. Perhaps after this meeting, he'll have my complete confidence as well. You know, from the beginning, I sense this weakness in him. You mean the girl? No, a general weakness. It's almost like all that training was too much for him. Like he's almost begun to think he's actually that character he's only supposed to portray. Well, we just have to keep reminding him of who he really is. Well, let's hope it's not too late. Well, no soon. We are so close to a successful completion. Now more than ever, I want to make certain that nothing goes wrong. Ah, oh, well, it's such a beautiful day, darling. I, I thought I'd take a walk. Are you sure you feel up to it, darling? Mm -hmm. Very hard day yesterday. Yeah. I'm oh, fine now. Alan popped his head in this morning and said as much himself. In fact, he thought I was so fine that I should go out and get some exercise. So you thought you'd just slip out without telling anyone, not even your wife? <laughs> I, I knew that you had a million things to do. Besides, I, I knew you'd insist on coming along. I would, but uh, unfortunately, I have a lot of things to do for my art class. Well, then get to it. I'll see you later, love. Robert, this is a surprise. I, I was just headed out for a walk. Well, this shouldn't take very long, mate. Hello, Celia. Hello. Uh, what won't take very long? A bit of routine business. I'm, um, I'm here to look through your closet. My closet? For skeletons. It was much easier in the hospital. I mean, he was more accessible. I could watch him, I could talk to him, I could see who came to visit him, who he went to visit. It's all in the past now. He understands the mission. It doesn't matter where Grant is living. Yes, but if that scorpion incident hadn't backfired on us, it would be Celia who would be, who'd be held in the house and a prisoner in the house. Not Grant. That may have not have gone exactly as we planned, but it served a very useful purpose. It showed Grant that disobedience is not possible. Not to mention his close call with the motorcycle. Exactly. He's gotten the point. He'll cooperate now. Then, Gregory, why isn't he here? He was supposed to be here half an hour ago. He'll make it. Relax. But I have a patient waiting for me at the hospital. If I don't show up, it's going to look very suspicious. Then I suggest that you go. But I'm supposed to be here. There's nothing for you to worry about because there's virtually nothing for you to do until Friday. I'm not giving the final orders until the last moment. Do I detect a note of mistrust? Merely a precaution. After all, Grant can't hesitate if he has no chance to think about it. Well, but what about this meeting now? It's a test to see if he's still obeying orders. If he shows up, he's with us. If not, well, then you know the procedure. Well, let us hope that Grant is not that stupid. Yes. Until later. Well, you see, it's simple, Celia. I'm a trained observer. Now, just take that, for instance. Grant was looking at his watch. I was? Am I keeping you from something? No. No, not at all. As I said, I was just going out to take a walk. As for why I reacted strangely when you mentioned skeletons in my closet, it's really very simple. Of course. I mean, it's just a natural reaction. This security clearance uh, business can get rather personal. Some people don't like having their past dredged up. So, uh, you were checking my reactions? To see what I was up against. <laughs> On that count, Robert, I can only say this. Uh, there are no skeletons in my closet. No arrests, no mysterious women, no strange political affiliations. In fact, all in all, it's been a pretty boring life. Clean one, huh? Clean life, clear conscience. Mm. The preliminary investigation is virtually completed. Mm? What I'm looking for now is uh, a few references. References? <laughs> I, I can give you my resume if that would help. Mm. I was thinking of something, uh, well, further down the line, say, People you've known for, well, an extended length of time. Most of them are on Long Island. Uh, Dr. Boyd, for example. Boyd. <laughs> yes. Then there's Professor Anderson. Uh, Professor Anderson is at the med school in London. Mm -hmm. He retired last year, but uh, I believe he still has quarters on campus. Well, that should be perfect. Now... I'm thinking about someone here who you uh, may be a little closer to. Maybe a guy you buddied around with. Oh, Robert, since England, I've, I've lost track of most of them. What about Bunny Willis? Bunny? 
Mm -hmm. Bernard Willis. He and Grant were best friends all through high school and college. No. No, Robert, it, it's been years. In fact, in the last 15 years, I've seen him one time. He was here in Port Charles for a medical seminar. Hmm. Another doctor? A plastic surgeon. Oh, that sounds perfect. You know, there are others. I, I could give you names of, of people who'd be easier to find. This will be fine, Grant. Uh, look, uh, thank you very much. Great coffee, Celia. Well, thanks, Stella. I will, next time I see you. I'll be in touch. Right. Grant. Celia, I'm going to take that walk right now. See you later. <laughs>